and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a North Country wet fly. And here in the vise I have a partridge. This one is the ideal dry in size 40. You could also tie this on a wet fly hook or also on the standard dry. But I like this hook for a more classic fly like this North Country wet fly. So to start off, the main material is going to be this thread, and this is a new one in the store. It's from Semperfly, and it's called the Pure Silk. And this color here is called Golden Olive, and it's this quite faded yellow, or a little bit between the yellow and the olive. Then to add a little bit to the body, I'm going to use this, just a little bit of dubbing. This one is the hairline dubbing in the color Olive Brown. Then for the hackle, I'm going to use this India handback. This one is in natural color, really nicely mottled. You could also use some partridge, but I just found these and I think they just look beautiful on these kind of flies. And then the last thing you're going to need is some kind of wax. Here I'm using the Loon High Tack Swax. And this is to get where I'm going to show you a little different technique to get the dubbing in the body. So what you have to know about this pure silk is that it's quite thick. I don't know the in the nears, but it's really thick. And so we're going to have to keep the turns of threads to a minimum. So what I have here is one of these hen feathers and I've just taken away all the fluff from the bottom. And then I'm going to prep this one. So then I'm just pulling all these fibers back, exposing the tip. And I'm going to tie in the feather and the thread at the same time. This way we build up the least amount of bulk. So I'm going to hold the feather like this. And then with this finger, I'm going to hold the thread to get this started. And then one turn two turns, here you have to be a little bit careful, I'm going towards the back, binding down the feather and thread at the same time, just touching turns, and then when I reach about the middle of the shank, I'm going to cut off the thread, and then I'm just going to continue down a little bit, just past the point of the hook, here I'm then going to take out a little bit of thread. I'm going to grab my wax and I'm just going to apply a thin layer all over this thread here about yeah, seven centimeters or so. You don't need too much. This is quite small fly and the body is not so long. Then I'm going to take this hair dubbing. This one is in this color olive brown. I'm just going to take out a little bit out of the package. And then the technique I'm using is called touch dub. And I'm just going to touch the thread or the waxed thread with the dubbing. And this will deposit just a few fibers onto the thread. You don't need much. You can see this a little bit. So this is enough. Then I'm going to spin the bobbin clockwise. And this is going to cord up the thread a little bit. And also trap these fibers just a little bit. And make the thread nice and round. And then I'm going to go up again. We're touching turns. And here we're building the taper and the segmented body of this fly just with this one material or the thread and the dubbing and then if you have a little bit too much I'm just going to take this away and then when I come up to the feather I'm going to bring this back and just come underneath and leave the one turn and leave the thread right in front of the feather. And 
then I'm going to push all the fibers back and here you don't need much just one and a half turns or two usually less is more on these kind of flies so here I'm up to one and a half turns and I'm going to bring up the thread put a 90 degree band into the feather and this was one turn then I'm going to grab my whip finisher and I'm going to start the whip finish here on the second turn and as I'm doing this I'm going to bring back the feather and then one two three turns right here in front and here you have to be a little bit careful to not crowd the eye but then pull tight and then come in with your scissors and cut the thread away and then we can also cut the cycle away and this you can use for some nymphlex and then just make sure that these legs or fibers are well spread around the fly and there we have the north country wet fly thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time